all right so good to be back uh welcome back to my channel my name is Samson. in today's video it's a continuation of our c tutorial today we're looking at type conversion in c and so all right so type conversion is when you when you want to convert one data type into another uh, for instance you might want to convert a whole number into a floating point number or vice versa and so usually this is done on on numbers and so we have two ways that we can do it in C. The first one is what we call implicit conversion. This is when the compiler helps you to convert the, the value or that you have into a given data type. And then the second one is what we call explicit conversion. This is us deliberately telling the compiler what data type we expect uh, you know, to have. So let's say you have an integer uh, variable uh, called X. You could name this whatever you want but the value is not uh, of uh, type integer it's something like 9.87 something and then obviously this is not an, an integer this is a float this is a floating point number it's not a whole number an integer is a whole number by the way and so C will look at this and say okay yeah I, I can see the value that you've given me but the container that I have which is this variable can only hold whole numbers but this is not a whole number so i'm going to convert this thing into a whole number this is what we call implicit conversion um implicit type conversion and so let's try and print this out and see what we'll get so i'm going to print out this and so we can say the number is is something and there we can say percent of course this is an integer so we use d uh, percent d as a format specifier and there we can say backward slash n for the new line and then we specify the type of data that we want to replace this placeholder with uh, so we want to replace it with x and then we are good to go so if we were to compile this let's try and compile this i'm going to exit this and then i'm going to gcc i'm going to output this as proc uh, obviously from process uh, dot c and then run this and then to to run that executable i have to say proc and if i run that you can see it says the number is nine but where are the rest of the numbers after the point something something um yes yeah, so let me vi into process again and obviously because uh this is of integer type the variable and so C ignored everything else after this first whole number that it saw. And so this is what we call implicit conversion. The compiler is going to make decisions for us. It's going to convert that data type into the data type which is supposed to be stored in this particular variable. This is also applicable to a floating point number. Let's say you had uh, X as a float right here. Uh, you could have that as a floating point number. But the value that you had is a whole number, uh, obviously. Uh, was just nine so what is the compiler going to do let's find out and so obviously here we have to replace this with an f percent f is for floating point numbers and if we were to recompile this and run that c adds the zeros for us uh, it's the compiler adding the zeros for us because of the data type that we're trying to uh, to create right here. So um, this is what happened. This is what we call uh, implicit conversion. Um, we did not explicitly mention that we wanted a floating point number, but, but because the compiler knows that in a float variable, uh, I have to put those points something something and so it did that for us but let's say you yeah you wanted uh, to be explicit uh, to be explicit is quite simple uh, what you have to do is you have to put the type of data in parentheses in front of the value so in this case you have to put right here in front of the nine float in parentheses like this and so this is explicit you are being explicit. You are telling the compiler that I want this value to be a floating point number. And so what will happen is obviously there will be no different from what we got last time, but we are only being explicit now. So if I run proc, you can see it says the number is 9.00. This could also apply to, to an integer. Um, like we saw earlier on, uh, if this was an int, I'm going to replace this with an int. Obviously, I have to store this into an int variable. 
uh, not a flawed variable so i mean an int variable and then this value will be a nine point something 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 else of course i'll have to convert this into a percent d because this is a whole number and so let me go and recompile and then check this out and you can see it says the number is nine it ignores the rest of the numbers after that because we explicitly mentioned that we wanted an integer variable All right so basically this is how you do it you could also perform divisions and then multiplication then you could then convert that into the data that you want and c is going to do that for you all right so i hope this was an eye opener uh, you learned something if you like this video leave a like leave a comment and also consider subscribing to the channel i hope to see you in my next tutorial for now i'm out uh, bye bye